Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I am so, so excited. Um, I've been looking for Psyops for a while and I couldn't find them. And I was just like, oh my God, did this company decide to give its HR services to a third party? Because they provide a lot of entry level type of jobs. And I have always been excited for them. For those that have been on my channel for a while, knows how much I do like Cyox for that because they provide a lot of, again, entry-level type of jobs that I, I know is so, so essential and their remote roles for folks that are looking to get right into working but are looking for something remote. The reason that I have not been able to find them is they changed your name to Datavant. So Cyox is now Datavant. They've actually come back better because as you can see, they do now offer salary positions, which I think is really, really exciting. So let's dive right in. For those that do not know what Cyox does, just as the new name of the organization reflects, this is an organization that helps to house data. So they focus on data for different healthcare facilities. They are kind of that middle party to help um, companies store their data, to help organizations do all things that are data related. Data, we tend to have a lot of them and so forth. So let's just go right into the opportunities they have open at the moment. When you go into jobs, you see one of my favorites. A lot of my subscribers have gotten this roles in the past, and these are entry-level roles, and I'm always excited whenever they bring them back. And the first one is the health information specialist role. So the health information specialist role is what I'm referring to. And this one was just recently posted, you see, like 23 hours ago. It's not even 24 hours yet. So this position was just recently posted, and they have a lot of health information specialist level one positions open right now. So that's the first one. It's you keep going, you're going to see there's another one and so forth. So they do have quite some roles open in health information specialists. So if that's something that you're interested in, let's just talk a little bit about what that's about. So you see this position right now is 15 to $18 per hour. Okay. These are entry level roles, guys. So keep that in mind. So this is a position that for folks that don't have any experience at all, but are looking for remote positions and also looking for positions that allow them to not have experience, also allow them to work from home. So those two together are very, very hard to find. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you um, go through the requirements for this role. So as you can see on here, you're going to be uh, working Monday through Friday, and it's four is eight a.m. to four thirty p.m. Uh, Central Time. They talk about working in a high volume type of environment because you're going to be doing a lot of medical requests. So a lot of people are going to be requiring medical information. You're going to be making sure that you are delivering on those. You're also going to be working in a lot of platform systems. They provide you with computer uh, monitors to provide you with systems as well. That's also another advantage, right? Think about it. Even though you're earning that uh, salary, you're going to get equipment to do your job, which is also a plus. They're asking for high school diploma or GED. They also talk about uh, someone that has strong data entry skills. You type in um, someone who is able to transfer information from one place to another, basic computer uh, proficiency, someone who speaks English, and so forth. Okay. So that's really all they're asking for with this one. Again, the salary is $15 to $18 per hour. If we go back to see what the next uh, position is, okay, the next position is the medical record specialist. So the medical record specialist is the next position. As you can see on here, this is another position that is uh, fully remote and is accepting application right now. They only have one uh, opening. This is a level two. So this one may ask for a little bit of experience. I didn't see any level one for this particular role, but this is a position to also consider. With this position, they're asking for high school diploma. You're going to be, again, working on medical records, making sure that the way medical records are delivered are following the rules and regulations that have been set in place by the organization. And even just from a federal perspective, there's HIPAA rules, there's PHI, and so forth. 
So this individual needs to have some experience in the past where they work on metrics because you're going to be doing a lot of data validation, a lot of using data to create reports that can potentially be a process improvement opportunities for the organization or the department asking for one year health experience. So that's really all they're asking for. So even if for you as an individual, if you have just one year, you can apply for this position. And this is a level two role. So just think about it. That's how kind of flexible they are with their requirements, which is one of the reasons I particularly love this organization. And the salary range for a medical record specialist, level two, it's a little higher than the first one because this is a level two position. It starts between 18 and $25 per hour. That is the salary range, 18 to $25 per hour. So, all right, let's see what else they have open. We're going to be putting the link to these jobs, I will be putting it in the description of this video so that you can go right into them. And also I do that for a reason for folks that may encounter my video later, just so that they can also go right into the career section and be able to find newer positions that have been posted because some of these roles at the time folks are watching may already uh, be gone. So again, remember to always have your notification bell turned on so that you're notified real time whenever I post new videos, okay? All right. They also have a CPC processor. This is customer support. They have uh, multiple positions open in that regard. They also have coding consultant outpatient role. This one obviously is going to focus on coding. As you can see on here, they have inpatient medical coder as well. These are all remote positions that are open right now. So go ahead and you know explore your page and see uh, what they have available uh, that potentially would be a good match for you. So that is a Ciox that is now a data vent. Again, I'm very excited I came across them. Go ahead and submit your applications, guys. Till next time, best of luck to you, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.